everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I am GenX, and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock unlimited FPS on Microsoft Edge. Using this technique will increase your FPS in games like Krunker, Shell Shockers, also Venge.io. Pretty much every single IO game will increase your FPS from 60 up to maybe 400 or 500 frames per second, depending on how fast your computer is. If you like what you see in this video, do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. Also, I am live gaming on Twitch, playing Krunker Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Speaking of, right now I am running a 1000 KR giveaway. If you would like to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment below after you like the video and hit the link in the description below and sign on up. All right, let's show you all how to do this. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do is load up Microsoft Edge and go to Krunker.io. If you guys have never played Krunker before, definitely check it out, it's a very fun game. The link is in the description below. Once I'm at Krunker, you guys can see that my frames per second is showing up here. If your frames per second is not showing, go to settings, go to search, type in FPS, and make sure that show FPS is open right here. Also, while you're in settings, go ahead and type frame in the search box and make sure that your frame cap is set at zero. This means that it can go as high as your computer allows. If you have it set at anything but zero, then your frame rate will cap out at that number. So make sure that your frame cap is set at zero. Like I said, up on the top right hand corner it shows your frames per second and as you guys could see that I am currently capped at 60 even though I am set my frame cap to zero. So let's show you guys the secret. What you're going to want to do is close out all Microsoft Edge windows, make sure that none are open. Then you want to go down to your toolbar and right click on the Microsoft Edge logo. If you guys are not using Microsoft Edge and you are using Mozilla or Brave or Internet Explorer, now is the time to switch. Microsoft Edge has more capabilities, more extensions, more customizable options. So what you want to do is right click on Microsoft Edge, then once again right click where it says Microsoft Edge, click on Properties. Once properties is open, go up here to where it says target. Inside this box, you might see something that says profile directory default at the end of this exe file. What you wanna do is replace that with the text that I have put in the description below. I will also show it on the screen. Go ahead and delete that except for a space. Make sure there is a space here. If you don't leave a space here, you will get an error message when you click apply. So if you do click apply and an error message pops up, go back in here and make sure that there is a space in between the quotation mark and what you're going to paste. Now go to the description below the video, copy the text that I have provided for you, Go ahead and right click and click on paste or press control V on your keyboard and then click apply. After that, click OK. Then go ahead and reopen Microsoft Edge. Go back to Krunker.io. And as you can see, my frames per second just shot through the roof. I'm capping anywhere between 600 and 700 frames per second now, which is over a 1,000% increase from what we had before. But that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to increase your FPS from 60 to as high as your computer allows. Like I said, you guys, if this video helped you out at all, please do not forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember, do not be toxic, spread positivity. We'll see y'all next time.